Okay, let's briefly go over exporting your mesh out to whatever application you want to send it to. And generally, I send it out to try to get it out to Keyshot or something so I can quickly slap materials onto something and make it look pretty. So um, to export, you go up to uh, export save as. So anything visible in here is going to be exported out. The only thing that won't be will be your image planes, which this uh, little screen is here. So let me go ahead and just uh, shut him off. And then go ahead and export, save as. And you've got a couple different versions at the moment. Uh, currently, OBJ, um, I think FBX is in the pipeline. Uh, you can do a step file to go to another CAD software. But for today, most people are going to be doing um, OBJ files. So I'm just going to give it a name real quick, and then a dialog will pop up here in a second. Okay, so it has to constantly update this as you're modifying things. So you've got a couple different topology. You could do tries, quads, or ingons. Tries will obviously um, triangulate everything. Quads tries to put quads in there as much as possible. It'll still do some triangulation. Ingons. Uh, Blender is really good with ingons and renders nicely. So you don't have as much triangulation. Uh, this density slider here uh, defaults to 0.5. Uh, it comes in handy to figure out your high topology as well as your low topology. So Generally, I like to set it up to 1, which is the max, and then start adjusting everything underneath it to get a good-looking high topology mesh. And then I could take that and do 0.25 and then make myself a lower quality mesh that I could bake normals and stuff like that with. So that's a kind of a good method to work with there. Um, everything has a description behind it. Your min and max width is the size of your polygons. Uh, surface plane tolerance. Everything has got a quick reference there. If you hover over it, I'm not going to go into explicit detail. I'll try to put a, a link to, the, to another video that has a little better uh, walkthrough of this. But basically, yeah, you want to adjust everything. It, it's going to be different for everybody, uh, what they're looking for. So, and then adjust accordingly. So let me show you real quick of a plasticity mesh inside, say, like Keyshot. So this one I did during the beta. And I tried to export out as high of... Uh, polygon count as I could because Keyshot can handle millions of polygons quite easily. Uh, the only thing is when I tried to bring it in, uh, there was a little bit of faucet in. So I pretty much had to select the mesh and then do a, what is it? Edit normals and then uh, have it recalculate the normals and then most of the faucet and disappeared. So but yeah, it's a quick, easy way to get your mesh out into other engines so you can get some real nice renders to showcase your work from Plasticity. And that's basically uh, exporting a mesh in Plasticity.